Electric cars are notorious for being incredibly quiet and it's usually one of the first things that people notice when they hop in my car and go for a ride is that it makes almost no noise at all, but that doesn't mean it is completely quiet. It actually makes a lot of noise in some situations, nowhere near what an ICE vehicle might make, but there are a few noises that might alarm some people if you are new to EVs. So here are a few of the sounds I've noticed over the past six months owning a Tesla Model 3. Surprisingly, the first sound I noticed with my Model 3 was putting it in park. The car makes this really loud whir sound coming from the back of the vehicle, and I had no idea what it was at first. I actually had to look it up, but it's actually the brakes when you put the car in park, tightening around uh, that disc to keep your car in place. So when you put the car in park, you'll hear that whir sound. And then when you put it back in drive, you can very slightly hear the brakes actually release and then you're good to drive. At low speeds, you might also notice the pedestrian warning sound. And that is because as of September 2019, all new electric vehicles traveling under 18.6 miles per hour, I have no idea why they chose such a specific number there, they should just make it 19 at that point. But all vehicles traveling under that speed have to emit some sort of sound so that pedestrians and people around the car can hear where the car is at. So in my car, if you are traveling forward at low speeds, you will hear this kind of rumbling noise. It almost sounds like they're trying to mimic a internal combustion engine. And then if you are traveling in reverse, you hear this UFO kind of like wobbly type sound as you move backwards and it actually speeds up in frequency as you speed up. Apparently Tesla owners will be able to customize this at some point, but right now that is not available. When the ambient temperatures move to the extremes, either very hot or very cold, you're definitely gonna hear some noise coming from the front of the vehicle. And that is usually the temperature management system for the battery. All this really does is keep the battery at a safe temperature so it doesn't overheat and cause problems or get really cold and damage the actual battery. You'll probably hear this anytime you're charging as well, just because the battery is handling all those high currents and usually gets really warm. So that temperature management system kicks in to keep it at a safe level. Similar sound can be heard if you precondition the cabin of your car. So on my car, I can go into the app and preset the temperature of my car before I get to it. So if it's a hot day like today and I go into the app to cool the car off before I get to it, I will definitely hear that AC system kick up when I get closer to the vehicle. Another sound you'll probably notice is the acceleration sound. So if you're getting on the highway and you just gun it, then you'll hear this really cool futuristic kind of speed sound. Should we race this Corvette? And you definitely hear this if you watch Tesla's video of the people riding in the next-gen Roadster for the first time. You can hear that motor spinning up. Oh my god! You also hear some normal car stuff like the horn, so it makes this sound when you honk at somebody that is cutting you off. And you'll hear this sound when you lock and unlock the vehicle. Lastly, because you are in an electric vehicle that doesn't have an engine and doesn't have a bunch of pistons firing, you're probably gonna hear more road and wind noise. I know that is something I definitely noticed when I first got my car is I could hear the wind a lot more than my other car just because it is not drowned out by the engine noise. And that is especially apparent when you're traveling at highway speeds. Okay, so I hopped in the car, just gonna give you guys a little audio of what it sounds like because there's no engine and no rumbling of that uh, those pistons firing, uh, you can hear a lot more road noise and wind noise. So I'll be quiet for a little bit so you guys can kind of get a feel of what that's like.
So as you can tell, a lot of wind noise already. I'm already having to talk a little bit louder. It is a pretty windy day too. So obviously down at lower speeds it is not as bad, but definitely when you are moving on the highway like that, if the road isn't very smooth, you can definitely hear it. But when we're at a standstill like this, completely silent. That's about it for this one. If I missed anything here or didn't cover a sound that you've heard in your EV, definitely let me know down in the comments. And if you like this video, you like these kind of EV versus ICE comparisons, definitely leave a like on this video and make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss any future electric vehicle related content. I'll catch you in the next one.